I started off as a painter, and, and interestingly, the, the imagery and the paintings got went from kind of an abstract expressionistic kind of uh, organization uh, and gesture to a very organized, I, I would add some other material to the canvas plane, which ended up being a piece of glass and then a piece of mirror. And then, uh, but it all had to do with illusions of volume. And then I decided to get rid of the painting completely and make the volumes that I was painting illusions of and make the, and use the glass material. One of the things I eliminated was the two-dimensionality of it and went directly into trying to make some volumes out of glass and mirrors. And uh, the, one of the things that I realized about working with glass was that it did something that nothing else I knew of did. It reflected, transmitted, and absorbed light at the same time. I started thinking of the energy inherent in the materials one works with. And, and uh, since the material always reflected, transmitted, and absorbed light, One's perception of that material was altered by one's position in relationship to the source of light. I liked the cube shape because it was totally symmetrical and, uh, and it was very convenient to work with. Glass was also very convenient. It was cheap, available anywhere, and, and you could do all kinds of stuff with it. And nobody else was playing with it, so uh, that's... That's why the work went that direction.